Did you know that the first initiative in establishing a defense industry in Turkey dates back to the Ottoman Empire? This is a testament to the foresight of the empire's leaders and their understanding of the central role that a strong defense industry plays in the prosperity and security of a nation. During the heyday of the Ottoman Empire, up until the 17th century, the defense industry was a formidable force, a testament to the empire's might and influence. The empire's military prowess was renowned, and its defense industry was among the most advanced of its time, producing a wide range of weaponry and equipment that were the envy of its peers. However, while the empire was basking in its glory, a revolution was quietly brewing in Europe. The 18th century marked the dawn of a new era of technological advancements fueled by the Industrial Revolution. As Europe surged ahead, the Ottoman Empire found itself increasingly isolated from these technological developments. This isolation had far-reaching implications for the empire's defense industry. As the rest of the world embraced new technologies and production methods, the Ottoman Empire began to lag behind. This gap widened over time, and by the time World War I rolled around, the empire's defense industry had lost much of its once formidable impact. The republic that emerged from the ashes of the empire inherited this weakened defense industry. In the early years of the republic, there was no significant defense infrastructure to speak of. Activities in the defense sector were limited primarily to establishing new facilities near Ankara during the Turkish War of Independence. The Republican administration, viewing the defense industry as a vital part of overall industrialization and development, supported the establishment of the defense industry during the first planning period. This led to initiatives such as in-country aircraft production. However, due to a combination of internal and external conditions, these initiatives were not enough to establish a robust defense infrastructure. Despite initiatives like in-country aircraft production, a strong infrastructure couldn't be established due to internal and external conditions. The journey to build a robust defense industry was just beginning, and it was a journey fraught with challenges and setbacks. But it was a journey that the Republic was determined to embark on. Post-World War II, the defense industry activities initiated during the early years of the Republic were not sufficient, owing to the lack of state support. The situation was further complicated by the foreign military aid that Turkey started receiving upon the promotion of bilateral relations with the United States and its subsequent membership in NATO. The influx of foreign military aid, while beneficial on the surface, inadvertently led to a slowdown in Turkey's homegrown defense initiatives. In the 1960s, Turkey found itself grappling with a series of regional problems that severely tested its defense capabilities. The Cyprus crises in 1963 and 1967 were particularly challenging, straining Turkey's resources and highlighting the limitations of its defense industry. The situation reached a boiling point in 1974 with the Turkish invasion of Cyprus, a move that resulted in an international arms embargo against Turkey. This embargo had a profound impact, cutting off Turkey's access to foreign military aid and leaving it to grapple with its defense needs largely on its own. These testing times, however, also served as a catalyst for change. The arms embargo underscored the urgent need for Turkey to develop a defense industry that could operate independently of foreign aid. This led to the establishment of the Turkish Armed Forces Foundation after 1974, marking the beginning of a concentrated effort to build a defense industry based on national resources. Despite the challenges, this period also saw some significant developments in the defense sector. Investments were made, albeit limited, in facilities and infrastructure. The foundation was being laid for a robust defense industry, one that would eventually enable Turkey to meet its defense needs independently. The post-World War II period was undeniably a challenging time for Turkey's defense industry, yet it was also a period of learning and adaptation, one that set the stage for the significant strides that the country would make in the years to come. These challenges necessitated the development of a defense industry based on national resources. 
As the challenges of the post-World War II era started to shape Turkey's defense industry landscape, the country realized the urgent need for self-reliance. This led to the establishment of the Turkish Armed Forces Foundation. The foundation marked a pivotal point in the journey of Turkey's defense industry. This was a journey from dependence on foreign aid to the development of a homegrown defense industry. As viewers, you might be wondering, why was this move significant? Well, the establishment of the foundation signified a renewed resolve to build a formidable defense infrastructure. It was a decisive step towards self-reliance in defense production, a journey fraught with administrative and financial difficulties. But the resolve was firm, and the vision was clear to create a sustainable defense industry rooted in national resources. A defense industry that could meet the increasing demand for weapons, ammunition and other defense technologies. An industry that could stand tall in the face of regional problems and international tensions. Yes, the task was monumental, but so was the commitment. Now, wouldn't you want to stay updated on such an exciting journey? Here's your chance. Subscribe to Intel Prime Channel and never miss an update on the latest defense industry news and insights. Stay informed about the challenges, the solutions, and the breakthroughs. Witness the transformation of the defense industry, one step at a time. Subscribe now and join us on this exciting journey. In the wake of these challenges, the Turkish Armed Forces Foundation was established to strengthen the national defense industry. This move marked a significant turn in the tide, signifying a renewed resolve to build a formidable defense infrastructure. The foundation was born out of an understanding that regional problems and international tensions, such as the Cyprus crises in the 60s and the subsequent arms embargo, necessitated a defense industry rooted in national resources. It was clear that relying on foreign aid was not a sustainable solution. And so, the journey towards self-reliance in defense production began, albeit with limited investments. However, the road to establishing a strong defense infrastructure was fraught with administrative and financial difficulties. The task of maintaining and improving national capabilities was no small feat. Limited national resources added another layer of complexity to the equation. The challenge was not just to create a defense industry, but to ensure its sustainability and growth in the face of these constraints. Moreover, the procurement policies of the time proved insufficient to fill the increasing gap in the Turkish Armed Forces defense equipment. The need for weapons, ammunition and other defense technologies was growing but the means to procure them were falling short. This underscored the urgency of building a robust defense industry that could meet these needs. Despite these hurdles, the Turkish Armed Forces Foundation took steps to bolster the national defense industry. The establishment of new facilities and the initiation of in-country aircraft production marked the beginning of a new era. These efforts may have been limited in their scope, but they were monumental in their significance. They represented a steadfast commitment to national security and sovereignty. Turkey was not just building a defense industry, it was laying the foundation for a future where it could stand strong and independent in the face of adversity. And so, with each passing year despite the hurdles, the foundation was laid for a robust local defense industry infrastructure. From 1923 to 1950, crucial steps were taken to build a solid defense industry in Turkey. This was a time of significant growth and development marked by the establishment of several key facilities and organizations. Among these was the General Directorate of Military Facilities, which was set up in 1921. This body played a pivotal role in shaping the country's defense infrastructure. It was also during this time that discussions around establishing an industry for weapons and ammunition first took place, notably at the Izmir Congress of Economics. A series of facilities sprang up across the country, each contributing to a different aspect of the defense industry. In 1924, a facility was established in Ankara for the repair of light weapons and artillery, along with another for ammunition and carpentry work. In the same year, a new ammunition facility was set up in the city. Then, in 1930, a capsule facility was established in Kayas. This was followed by a power plant and steel facility in Kirikali in 1931. 
a facility for gunpowder, rifle and artillery in 1936, and a gas mask facility in Mamak in 1943. The Nuri Kiligil facility was another significant establishment during this period. Set up near the Halik region in Istanbul in 1930, it was one of only two private firms producing weapons at the time. It manufactured pistols, 81mm mortars and their ammunition, as well as explosives and pyrotechnics. This facility provided valuable support to the Turkish armed forces during World War II. The Golkuk shipyard was set up in 1924 for the maintenance of the Yavuz battlecruiser. Later in 1941, the Taskizak shipyard was reactivated. These developments were integral to the growth of the country's naval capabilities. This period marked the birth of the Turkish aviation industry with the establishment of Tayare V Motor, Turk AS. This company, also known as Tamtas, was founded in 1926 and its facilities were established in Kayseri. Its inception was a significant milestone, not only for Turkey's defense industry, but also for the broader field of aviation. So, let's recap the journey of the Turkish defense industry. We started with the Ottoman Empire, a period that marked the first initiatives of establishing a defense industry. Despite its strong position up until the 17th century, the industry was unable to keep up with the technological advancements in Europe from the 18th century onwards, culminating in a loss of impact after World War I. With the birth of the Republic, the defense industry found itself without a significant infrastructure. The early years were marked by the establishment of new facilities near Ankara during the Turkish War of Independence. The Republican administration, understanding the integral role of a defense industry in overall industrialization and development, supported state-guided industrialization, thus fostering the development of the defense industry during the initial planning period. However, despite efforts like in-country aircraft production, a robust infrastructure could not be established due to various internal and external conditions. The post-World War II period further highlighted the insufficiency of these early initiatives due to lack of state support. This came to a halt with the promotion of bilateral relations with the United States and Turkey's membership in NATO, leading to foreign military aid. Nevertheless, regional problems and the Cyprus crises of the 1960s, followed by the Turkish invasion of Cyprus in 1974, necessitated the development of a defence industry based on national resources. The Turkish Armed Forces Foundation was subsequently established, marking the beginning of investments in this sector. The period between 1923 and 1950 saw the stealthy transfer of machinery, craftsmen and workmen from Istanbul and its surroundings, playing a crucial role in winning the War of Independence. The establishment of small-scale workshops in cities across Turkey laid the foundation for a robust local defence industry infrastructure. So, through trials and tribulations, the Turkish defence industry has stood the test of time. The Turkish defence industry, while having faced numerous challenges, has evolved over the centuries, creating a strong and resilient infrastructure that continues to thrive today. Intel Prime Channel membership today and get access to exclusive benefits, including early access to new videos, exclusive discounts on Intel products, behind the scenes content, live chat with me and other members. Other options will be soon available. Thank you for your support and for helping Intel 